Danny and the Dinosaur Story and Pictures by Sid Hoff One day, Danny went to the museum. He wanted to see what was inside. He saw Indians. He saw bears. He saw Eskimos. He saw guns. He saw swords. And he saw... Dinosaurs! Danny loved dinosaurs. He wished he'd had one. I'm sorry they're not real, said Danny. It would be nice to play with a dinosaur. And I think it would be nice to play with you, said a voice. Can you? said Danny. Yes, said the dinosaur. Oh, good! said Danny. What can we do? I can take you for a ride, said the dinosaur. He put his head down so Danny could get on him. Let's go, said Danny. A policeman stared at them. He had never seen a dinosaur stop for a red light. The dinosaur was so tall, Danny had to hold up the ropes for him. Look out, said Danny. Bow wow, said a dog. He thinks you're a car, said Danny. Go away, dog, we are not a car. I can make a noise like a car, said the dinosaur. Honk, honk, honk. What big rocks, said the dinosaur. They're not rocks, said Danny. They're buildings. I love to climb, said the dinosaur. Down, boy, said Danny. The dinosaur had to be very careful not to knock over houses or stores with his long tail. Some people were waiting for a bus, but they rode on the dinosaur's tail instead. All who want to cross the street, walk on my back, said the dinosaur. It is very nice for you to help me with my bundles, said a lady. Danny and the dinosaur went all over town and had lots of fun. It's good to take an hour or two off after a hundred million years, said the dinosaur. They even looked at the ball game. Hit the ball, said Danny. Hit a home run, said the dinosaur. I wish we had a boat, said Danny. Who needs a boat? I can swim, said the dinosaur. Toot, toot, went the boats. Toot, toot, went Danny and the dinosaur. Oh, what lovely green grass, said the dinosaur. I haven't eaten any of that for a long time. Wait, said Danny. See what it says. Please keep off. But they both had ice cream instead. Let's go to the zoo and see the animals, said Danny. Everybody came running to see the dinosaur. Nobody stayed to see the lions. Nobody stayed to see the elephants. Nobody stayed to see the monkeys. Nobody stayed to see the seals, giraffes, or hippos either. Please go away so the animals will get looked at, said the zoo man. Let's find my friends, said Danny. Very well, said the dinosaur. There they are, said Danny. Why, it's Danny riding on a dinosaur, said a child. Maybe he'll give us a ride. May we have a ride, asked the children. I'd be delighted, 
said the dinosaur. Hold on tight, said Danny. Around and around the block ran the dinosaur, faster and faster and faster. This bet, this is better than a merry-go-round. The children said. The dinosaur was out of breath. Teach him tricks, said the children. Danny taught the dinosaur how to shake hands. Can you roll over on your back? Asked the children. That's easy," said the dinosaur. "He's smart," said Danny, patting the dinosaur. "Let's play hide and seek," said the children. "How do you play it?" said the dinosaur. "We hide and you try to find us," said Danny. The dinosaur covered his eyes, and all the children ran to hide. The dinosaur looked and looked, but he couldn't find the children. I give up. Now it was the dinosaur's turn to hide. The children covered their eyes. The dinosaur hid behind a house, but the children found him. He hid behind a sign, and the children found him. He hid behind a huge gas tank. The children found him. They found him again and again and again. <sighs> I guess there's no place for me to hide," said the dinosaur. "Let's make believe we can't find him," Danny said. "Oh, where can he be? Where? Oh, where is that dinosaur? Where did he go?" "We give up," said the children. "Here I am," said the dinosaur. The dinosaur wins," said the children. "We couldn't find him. He fooled us." "Hurrah for the dinosaur!" the children cried. "Hooray! Hooray!" It got late, and the other children left. Danny and the dinosaur were alone. "Well, goodbye, Danny," said the dinosaur. "Can't you come and stay with me?" Said Danny, "We could have fun." No," said the dinosaur. "I've had a good time, the best I've had in a hundred million years. But now I must get back to the museum. They need me there." "Oh," said Danny. "Well, goodbye." Danny watched until the long tail. Was out of sight. Then he went home alone. Oh well, thought Danny. We don't have a room for a pet that size anyway. But we did have a wonderful day. The end.